Hey everyone. So I thought I would come on and um, show you something that I found on another creator's channel. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm going to have to tag. I'm terrible about this, but her name is Angela, I believe. Um, I found this idea. Um, I have a ton of these paper, toilet paper rolls um, that I end up just throwing away. And I, again, I'm on a mission to kind of um, get rid of all the cardboard and everything in my journaling instead of throwing it away. So I have things like this that I'm, I have a stack of things. Um, but I have a ton of these that I've rescued over the past week because I found the video um, from Angela and pretty sure it was Angela. And um, she uses these in her junk journals by flattening them and creating pockets. Um, she even created, I think, a little um, keepsake holder um, type of file folder like, let me pull one that I've made here, something like this that has expandable pockets. She made one out of toilet paper rolls and I'm gonna try that next because I have a ton of rolls to experiment with. Um, but I thought I would show you um, what I've been doing. So. Uh, again, when, when they're flattened, you just cover them. I punch a little notch at the top, and then I glue, um, just like I would a pocket, I glue it down. Um, and uh, whenever I have this book page or paper, whatever paper I'm using, I'll wrap it around the bottom and onto the back some so that um, so that it creates the pocket at the bottom. I don't have to actually glue that part closed. Um, so. Essentially, I was gonna do one on video here for you, but this is an example of a pocket. And then she does another type, and this one's being glued right now, but um, one that just opens at the top and is um, kind of a landscape orientation. And this one may be dry by now. Looks like it might be. Um, this is one that I covered with um, a label that I had made and messed up on and uh, decided to stamp with my stamping um, materials. And then I used some distress ink to distress it. But now it's a little pocket that I can slip things in and I can just glue it down on um, my journal page. So I thought I, I'm gonna continue to reinforce that. It's still a little bit wet. But I thought I would do one um, to show you how she does it. Um, when I said labels, I have a thermal printer, and sometimes I mess up the labels. So I just reuse them because they're stickers, essentially. I'm going to experiment more with that label maker um, and uh, finding clip art and things like that to print on labels. Um, maybe a little bit later. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But... Essentially what she does is she'll take a book page and I'm not going to actually do it with this book page Though I could this would be a pretty book page um, She will take that and she will cover All the front and then she'll wrap the bottom around um, And regardless of wherever that hits uh, it wraps over the bottom and then she um, glues it to the toilet paper roll. And, um, and then she'll just cut the excess off and she'll leave flaps so that she can fold them over neatly. So let me do that. I'll get a book page here and show you this process. Um, maybe I'll take a book page out of this book. I know I have a million floating around here, but I'll just take one out of here. This is a Jane Eyre. And you have to think about what you want visible on um, the piece. So I might actually do it this way since I haven't done it this way yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to go up towards the top. And I love to use the Aileen's um, Tacky Glue. This is, so far, this is my favorite glue to use. But I am just going to glue the whole thing and I have a glue spreader brush that I picked up at a thrift store and this thing has been awesome because it has the silicone nubs and whenever that silicone gets dried and the glue gets dried in it I can just peel them off 
Um, so I'm not ruining any of my paint brushes anymore, which is nice, um, or foam brushes. I have, um, these came in a two pack. They're called, um, well, they're, they're silicone glue spreaders, but they're from Bench Dog. So if you want to look for those, I definitely recommend them because they do a really good job of spreading the glue. And I'm going to glue this down right at the top of my book page. Okay, so just like that. And I'm going to leave enough that I can cut off the edge. And then uh, what she does is she glues this, this little um, part up so it creates a pocket. And uh, she doesn't have to worry about... Um, I need to get that new uh, tacky glue bottle that sits upside down. I usually have to prop it up <laughs> and it's a pain to have to wait on it to drip down far enough. But you can see I'm spreading it just on the bottom here and just like that. Okay. And so it creates the pocket. Now I've got my pocket. Now I've just got to trim the edges off. So what she does is she trims about that much from each side. And um, she usually leaves her flap down, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, go in and cut. I, I glue my flap up first and then I cut. Um, I don't think it matters either way, but you want to cut your edges out so it's a clean fold on the, on the corners and then just glue this in. So you can see, um, it becomes a flat piece and you don't have to cut or trim any of the sides off after you glue it down or anything like that. Um, and that makes it easier. And then she'll take her one inch hole punch and she'll punch just a little notch out at the top. So that's one version. Um, and then she does the second version. She has several versions of this and I'm gonna try to link her video below, but she has versions like this. She has versions, uh, I think that open up from the center, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember, but these were the first two I remembered to do <laughs> when I got all my supplies together. So I wanted to show you how cool they turn out and I have a stack of them that I'm using right now. So for the other top, this top right here, um, all she does is she cuts the top open. I am gonna use my um, paper cutter here because I'm terrible at cutting straight lines. So I'm just gonna cut off the top and this paper cutter isn't super friendly with cardboard. It, it does cut some, but I may have to pull it down to the bottom here. I'm probably off camera. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it first. I'm gonna cut it right here where it's not gonna matter because that's gonna be cut off anyway. Um, it just, it just can't do the two layers of cardboard for whatever reason. Not strong enough. And then I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter. And it's gonna be like this. And then I cut the notch out with my um, one inch hole punch right here. Um, but I always do that after I cover the outside of it. And so, like I was saying, if you wanna, if you have a thermal printer, um, stamping onto blank labels is, is a great way to decorate these. Um, it's It was really quick and easy. Um, let me see, how do I want this? So what I'm gonna do, I think, I think I'm gonna trim. Actually, that may not be long enough. We'll see. And if it's if it's in excess, um, 
I let it go over the bottom because I glue that part down. I, I try not to go over the top. That way I don't have to trim anything um, if I don't want to, but uh, this might be a little too short, but we'll make it work. There we go. So just like that, I let it go over the back side. What's gonna be the back side? And then I add more label to the inside here um, so that that's what's showing when I cut the notch out. So let's see, I'm just kind of guesstimating where this needs to be. Uh, I haven't measured it, <laughs> but these are the standard, um, the standard size labels, I believe. For shipping things. And if you have extra, you can always wrap it over the edge here so that you have your um, your design. And then you can go around it with um, the Distress Ink to make it look old and um, tuck neat little things down in the, in the pocket. Um, so I'm going to link her... Um, her YouTube channel below because I think uh, she has other ideas that I've forgotten at this point, but I just, I was really excited to find things that I could do with these toilet paper rolls, and I thought I would share it with you. So, hope this has been uh, uh, something that jogs some creativity and um, inspires you to start digging these things out or keeping them from going in the trash so that you can use them in your crafting. Happy crafting!